Adhesive Capsulitis Frozen Shoulder Adhesive Capsulitis is a painful progressive loss of shoulder motion. It affects both active and passive movement of the shoulder joint. The shoulder is stiff and painful. It occurs due to inflammation, fibrosis, scarring, and contracture of the capsule of the shoulder joint. This is a normal shoulder joint capsule. The capsule is elastic. It allows a great range of motion of the shoulder. With inflammation and thickening of the capsule, the condition will lead to adhesive capsulitis. That frozen shoulder may occur without any specific cause. However, it may be triggered by a mild trauma to the shoulder. This condition develops slowly and goes through three phases. The first phase is pain and freezing. The pain is worse at night. It increases with any movement and it will last several months. Second phase is stiffness or frozen. The range of motion is limited as the pain is diminishing. It may last up to one year. The third phase is resolution. It may begin to resolve over time. It may last up to three years. This process will take time, sometimes several years. Condition associated with frozen shoulder, diabetes, thyroid problems, autoimmune disease, stroke, rheumatoid arthritis, and also trauma or post-surgery. A patient with frozen shoulder will have loss of both active and passive motion. With the scarring and the fibrosis, the patient will have a frozen shoulder and lose the active shoulder motion. Also, the patient will have loss of the passive shoulder motion. The external rotation of the shoulder is very limited. The condition is really self-limited and it may resolve by itself. It is better to get an x-rays to rule out degenerative arthritis of the shoulder joint itself. MRI or arthrogram may be needed and it will show a small fluid in the joint cavity. The rotator cuff probably will be normal. The synovitis and narrowing of the rotator cuff interval is usually seen. Treatment includes anti-inflammatory medication, physical therapy, injections, manipulation under anesthesia. Be careful so the humerus won't break from you during the manipulation. Surgery is done when non-operative methods fail. It usually includes release of the capsule. Always check for diabetes in these patients. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.